Well, hey, what's up, everybody? I um, I have a documentary called Kings of the East that was supposed to be out in June. Uh, I outsourced it uh, for some production, and it looked like maybe May is initially when I would hear it be, but June and July has passed. Now we're in August. I don't think it's coming. Um, so what I'm going to give you is just uh, the raw footage. Uh, we were going to add some bells and whistles and effects and try to dress it up really nice. Um, but for whatever reason, it just hasn't hasn't happened. So what I'm going to give to you is uh, Kings of the East. It's going to be a long series, and I'm going to start kind of with an intro, and then we're going to get into part one, part two, part three, and I'll give it to you that way. Um, so I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy this, and this is an intro, just kind of an introduction into what we're going to be talking about. I'll catch you guys later. Peace and much love. Well, hey, welcome to my documentary, Kings of the East. Um, what you read there was the book of Revelation. It is in the Christian Bible. It is the last book of the Bible. And it means the unveiling. It means Inavaron. It means the end of all things. And uh, that book tells the history of the churches from the Christian point of view. It talks about the end of all things and a recreation of things that specific passage is the battle of armageddon and what we see is a great and terrible evil that is going on in europe the revived roman empire led by the antichrist and he is gathering all the world armies together for war and the kings of the east have marched out to meet him this has a lot of um feel to it of shiva the destroyer i see some intersection there this documentary is not about the end of all things. It's not about the end of India. It's not about the end of the world. It's about the kings of the East. So what I wanted to do is show you where I get that from. And now I'm going to work back to discuss why I think you're the kings of the East. Because you have a mighty mighty army that's able to march out and take on and go battle in the last battle but you're not there yet so what happens so there's got to be a huge shoot up of of economy of power of military of of you know quality of life of all these things for india to get involved like that so let's go take a look at why I believe you are the kings of the East. <laughs> 